Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel, Jam Vibes. The Senzo Meiwa murder trial is ongoing in court one more time and we still have as witness Tomelo Madladla. What is very shocking is the fact that apparently Zandile said something very pertinent about the gunshot that she heard which made her to run into the toilet and Tomelo is saying something else. Do well to watch this video right up to the end because I'm here to give you all some pertinent details about the apparent wound that was procured from the first gun shot. Before I give you all the entire details, kindly subscribe to this channel please, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell please. It all actually resumed when Tumelo Madladla took the stand again in the Senzo Meiwa murder trial and with so much conviction and certainty decides to reveal every single detail of what he knows concerning that fateful day that Senzo Meiwa's life was claimed. And most importantly, at some point, Sandile Kumalo in one of her statements made it so crystal clean and clear that when the first shot actually took place, of course, she was backing the intruder who actually pulled the bullet and most definitely she was backing this intruder with Tumelo Madladla and when Tumelo Madladla and Zandile Kumalo actually heard the gunshots, Tumelo first off did not notice who actually pulled the trigger and where the bullet actually came from and where it landed but the sound actually deafened his ear so he had to immediately run for refuge. But Zandile Kumalo re revealed at some point that herself and Tumelo were actually noticed where the bullet came from and where it landed as Zandile said it hit on the floor so hard and apparently an injury was being procured. So I'm more or less like where did all of this part of the story actually come up whereby Mr. Tumelo doesn't even know about all of this because Tumelo made it so a crystal clean and clear that Zandile showed a superficial wound most definitely which wasn't that grave at all but on his side most infinitely he didn't witness that in particular and also he actually said fully well that he got all this information from Zandile only after Senzo had already passed after the entire event had already occurred, literally that is just to say by empirical means that Zandile Kumalo witnessed this alone, not with Tumelo Matladla. Also, he discovered that at some point, Tumelo really wants to be so defensive and wants to be so outspoken already about the Senzo Meiwa's case. And one more time again, this is an opportunity whereby Zandile Kumalo has been exposed. And should I say exposed for lies because it is really so deep. At some point, we get to understand that, okay, probably they actually, you know, witnessed some similar things or should I say slightly different things based on events. But do you all know that differences based on what the eye sees varies based on the circumstance of the event? What do I mean by this? Guys, if we are all in a house, right? and somebody slaps another person, then this person throws food on another person. We all have witnessed that this person has slapped the person first before this person throws food on another person. So how on earth will you come and say that this person threw food first before this person slapped another person? What is highly understandable is if you tell me, okay, probably I can't remember the color. I can't remember who did what first. I can't, I can't. So we're going to be like, of course, it's been eight years already plus. And most importantly, so many people suffer from amnesia. Like people have this, you know, weak memory. And I'm telling you all for a fact that according to what Zandile has definitely been revealing, it is very much factual that she has she's suffering from some level of amnesia. And if you check deeply into it, many people actually say, all of them in the house are suffering from selective amnesia because they choose what to forget and what not to forget. So it's very much difficult to try to comprehend what they went through and what they are definitely saying through the statements and in court. Without necessarily judging, guys, I really want you all to tell me what you think about all of this already because I'm telling you all for a fact that it is so heartbreaking seeing all what is being witnessed already. The main question is, will justice ever be served in the Senzo Meiwa murder trial? Are the culprits ever going to be arrested? I'm going to be reading you all in the comment section and of course do well to come back here for more just vibes and concrete information.